What's up everybody? My name is Alex Shrednozak and I'm a film critic at Filmbook. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2020 drama film, Promising Young Woman. Promising Young Woman was written and directed by Emerald Fennell and stars Carrie Mulligan, Bo Burnham, Alison Brie, and Laverne Cox. Mulligan plays Cassie, who is a coffee shop worker that essentially hunts men down that try to take advantage of her. She poses as an inebriated mess at bars and gets picked up by various men. As time goes on, we learn why she's on this mission. My hot take for this movie is probably only gonna make sense to a couple of you. Damn it, Schmidt, $20 in the jar. Oh my God. I swear if any of you get that reference, you can be my best friend. But in all seriousness, this movie's gonna have a lot of people divided. It has strong messages about sexual assault, so if that's something that you're uncomfortable with, be aware of it. First, let's talk about the acting. I love Carrie Mulligan. I think she's a highly underrated actress, so it was nice to see her leading in something and making this all of her own. She does a great job in this movie. I also really enjoyed Bo Burnham, not for any particular reason other than just seeing him in a movie. I don't know if his performance was good or anything like that, but I just like him in general. I will say he definitely fit the role that he was trying to portray. Everyone else in this movie's fine. I'll get into this later, but I didn't really think anybody really stood out too much. This was definitely Carrie Mulligan's show. So I'm going to rate the acting a nine out of 10. Next, let's talk about the story. This is where I feel like most people are going to have problems. On one hand, this is a story that definitely needed to be told. There were a lot of scenes that made me really uncomfortable and I really liked how they didn't sugarcoat anything. At least it didn't feel that way to me. This movie definitely could have gone a lot darker of a route. I was really surprised that even though I could pretty much predict a lot of the situations that were happening, they were still able to make me cringe because that's just the kind of dark world that we live in now. The big issue that I have with this story is really one thing. This gets into spoiler territory, so fair warning. I felt like this movie's overall message was trying to pretty much say that all men were going to commit some sort of disgusting act like all of these characters. I won't say what any of these people do directly, but aside from the father character, all of the male characters in this movie are pretty much predators or essentially rapists. I feel like that's a bit of a problem because I don't think that's portraying all of the truth. Yes, there are a lot of really, 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 really bad people out there. But I also feel like saying all men commit these kind of acts is wrong as well. I'm sure that wasn't the original intention, but there is not one male character in this movie that has a redeemable quality. Also, a lot of the supporting characters just don't really have that much to do. It's important for a person like Cassie to have people surround her, but I just wish that they would have gone a little bit more in depth with that. Like I said before, the main focus of the story is Carrie Mulligan's character, and they don't really dive deep into really much else. So I'm gonna rate this story a seven out of 10. And lastly, let's talk about the filmmaking. I feel like Emerald Fennell definitely did a good job trying to keep this movie very character focused with Cassie. Like I said before, there were a lot of scenes of this movie that really made me cringe. So that was also really well done. I actually think one of the strongest aspects of this movie is the music. This is one of those movies that utilizes a soundtrack more so than the traditional score. I really liked a lot of the song choices and I feel like it added a lot of depth to the story and everything else filmmaking wise was fine. Actually, one thing I wanted to point out is that I really liked the poster art for this movie. Back when I was working at the movie theater, that was one thing that really drew my attention towards it. I'm like, oh cool, this looks like it's gonna be a cool little sleeper thriller, to which it is. But I feel like the posters were a bit more stylized than the actual movie. Just being the filmmaking nerd that I am, I just wish I would have seen a little bit more of that, but we got the movie that we got. So I'm gonna rate the filmmaking an eight out of 10. So that leads me to my final rating. I'm gonna give Promising Young Woman an eight out of 10. I definitely think this is an important movie because of its messaging. This movie is going to be very triggering for some people, so proceed with caution. I'm definitely curious to hear what all of you think, so definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below. And that wraps up this review. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You can see more of my reviews at the Filmbook website. That's film-book.com. Just search for Alex Shrednoslack. You can also see other videos and reviews I've done on my YouTube channel, link in the description. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so that way you're notified as soon as new reviews are published. If you agreed or disagreed with my review, definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Please also consider becoming a member on our Patreon, link also in the description. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.